Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video on Cucumber. In this video, we'll mainly discuss how we can run Cucumber test as a Maven test. So as we know, Maven is a build tool. So end goal of uh, our automation is we have to execute as a Maven build. So I will show you what are the things you need to change in your pom.xml file. So we'll configure, we'll add a surefire plugin and a compiler. And then finally, we will specify which test runner we have to execute. So uh, let's go back here. This is the pom.xml which we have created. Again, uh, previously I was using Eclipse Luna. So recent, uh, just before this uh, video, I updated to Eclipse Mars. So I'm using the latest one. If you are still using 4.5.2, it's fine. I'm using 4.5. So right now it's showing this cross symbol, it's just a update issue. So simply right click Maven and update project and click on OK. So internally, if there's something wrong, it will fix automatically. So this is our previous test runner, which we, uh, which we have written last time. And this is the step definition. And this was our feature file. So in last video, we already covered this data driven test. So let's say I want to run this test runner as a Maven build. So what are the changes we need to do? So the, you have to install certain plugins. So build is a separate tag which you need to add. Build will start, build will, uh, with uh, end. Now we need first plugin that is Maven compiler plugin. Then we need a Maven Surefire plugin. And then we have to specify which Java file you want to execute. So let me copy this complete build from here and I will go to pom.xml file and after the dependencies, I will right click here and I will uh, say show line number. It will be easy for you. So now simply com uh, control V. So it says build will start, build with and we need two plugins. So first plugin is this Maven compiler plugin. The second plugin is Maven Surefire plugin. This plugin will actually will execute your Java file. So here we need to execute. I will specify please run runner new.java. So if you see runner new.java. So what is this uh, double star? Double star means in the project directory, whenever uh, it will find the complete project and any file which contains runner new.java, it will execute. So this is the wild card. So the first two double star will check the complete project and in any project or any package, if it is finding any class, which is ending with runner new dot Java, it will execute. So simply control S. So it will start downloading the plugins if required. And once we are done, this is the pom.xml file. Now, if I go to my uh, step definition here, I'm using Firefox and every time it awaits. So I will use it Chrome driver. I want to use the Chrome now. So Chrome is a little bit faster as compared to Firefox. So I will add this Chrome driver and I will add the property. So if you are not familiar with how to start with Chrome, you can check my previous tutorials. So here I will mention webdriver.chrome.driver. And here we need to specify the Chrome driver path. So I already have iDriver, Chrome driver in a separate directory. So I will only get the path from here. Okay, so yeah, just one more, yeah. So now we are done. Our test will run on Chrome now. So if I execute this, so if I run this test runner, it will simply execute in a normal plain Java mode. But let's run this in a Maven style. So let's run as first, I will say Maven clean. So it will clean my target directory. So yes, Maven has started, build success, and it has deleted the target directory. Now let's run it and let's say run as Maven install. 
you can directly say maven test but i will recommend you to go with maven install so what maven install will do it will check if any files are missing it will install the necessary plugins or any file then it will start with your regular test so changes detected recompiling the module fine and it has started so it says I'm running runner dot test runner dot new so this is the runner package which is uh, running and the class name is test runner new and you can see Chrome is started and remaining test will be same because we are not changing the execution we are only changing uh, from traditional Java execution to Maven test execution so rest of the code will remain same so let's wait since I have given three times so it will execute the code three times so I'm still using the previous uh, Chrome version that is 2.2 if you want to use the latest version the latest one is 2.20 or 2.21 so if you want to update simply go to selenimhq.org slash downloads and uh, you can find the latest chrome driver over here so if you go to yeah this is the one third part yeah so latest is 2.21 i'm still using 2.20 so this is the last execution and yeah we are done so once your maven build is success okay it's a build success and uh, you will get the same thing three scenarios executed and 12 steps and if you refresh you will get the target HTML reports this is the report which we want web browser and now if you go to any normal browser and check the same old report that we have done in the data driven test with three different parameters you can see for running as a maven build you don't have to do much only you need to add the plugins and you need to mention which file you want to run so right now we have only one test runner you can have multiple test runner and you can execute multiple test runners through this pom.xml as well so right now if you noticed uh, I manually changed the browser here right but I want to keep it a little bit dynamic like based on the browser uh, it should start my session so in the next video I will show you how you can create this test a little bit dynamic so I will pass the browser from the command line or you can say from this feature file so based on my yeah so this is the hard-coded thing right here I have to change it to the dynamic like based on the browser it should start the respective browser so that we'll see in the next video uh, stay tuned i will continue with the same project again it's showing this cross mark so don't worry just go to this maven option and say update project and it will resolve your issue yeah that's all i have for this soon we are going to integrate this maven project through jenkins so when you execute any Jenkins job it will execute your cucumber test that's all I have for this video thank you so much have a nice day